Boeing won't be facing criminal prosecution for ignoring safety concerns with their aircrafts that end up killing hundreds of people. The DOJ has offered the company a sweetheart deal, and the families of the victims, well, they're angry, really angry, as you might expect. How many times does a criminal have to engage in criminal activity before you say, time's up, we're going to round up your executives who made these decisions. We know exactly who made these decisions. We have emails. We have memos. We have a paper trail a mile long. We could call Joe Smith or whoever it is into a courtroom and say, you made this decision. And you made this decision while something was pending where the company had already been given one break. Talk about it. Yeah, what happened here, and here's, God, this is so infuriating. Too. <laughs> it is. <it's> but <laughs> Boeing, of course, many years ago, after these two massive airline crashes in Indonesia and Ethiopia that killed everybody on board, more than 300 people dead, and the DOJ said, okay, Boeing, here's what happened. Uh, we know for a fact that you guys lied to federal regulators, which is a crime. You ignored all the regular safety protocols, which is a crime. You're using shoddy contractors, deceiving your own investors. We've got you on everything. So give us a couple hundred million dollars and we'll let you go. Just do not break the law again over the next few years. Well, yeah, please don't break the law again. And, and you killed 300, almost 350 people. Please don't do that again. And we're going to let you go with paying this little pittance of a money. Right. And then, of course, Boeing violated the terms of that agreement. So the DOJ spent the last six months, starting in December, going up until last week, saying, what the hell are we going to do with these guys? We can nail them to the wall. They violated the agreement. So now we're clear to prosecute them criminally in court. And the DOJ last week said, actually, you know what? We don't want to do that. Um, give us a few more hundred million dollars and did you super pinky promise us that you're definitely not going to break <laughs> yeah, the law again. Yeah. And that's what it is. The, the reason, by the way, this even happened is because if they do prosecute Boeing, hit them with felonies, Boeing would lose their government yeah, contracts. They can't do government. That's what it is. That it's is what's at the heart that. of it. It's all hell with the 350 people. Hell with the fact that we already caught you doing this one time and we nailed you by nail. I hate to even use that term. <laughs> we made you pay a fine that was just a cost of doing business. Look, here's what people don't understand. The average person out there on the street, if they were to drink a fifth of whiskey and drive 90 miles an hour, through a, a, a school zone, and they would hit a child. That's called manslaughter. Now, they didn't plan to do it, but their conduct is so reckless. It's so indifferent about what might happen. It's so, I don't give a damn about what might happen. That's manslaughter. They could have gotten the people that made these decisions easily on manslaughter. But, but same thing we've talked about. The DOJ simply has no chops. They don't have prosecutors that will go in there and do if it's not If it's not easy picking fruit, they won't do it. It was just like the Hunter Biden case. Until that federal judge said, what the hell? What do you mean you're just going to let him walk? Until that federal prosecutor, that federal judge did that, those prosecutors were going to let him go because it's the Department of Justice. They do nothing where it comes to challenging themselves as, as trial lawyers. And so this judge... I'm really kind of hoping this judge will say the same thing. Uh-uh. You already had your one chance. You already had a chance to do this. You might keep your contract, but we're going to prosecute some people. We're going to perp walk some people. Otherwise, the problem with it, Farron, is if they don't do something, they're going to be teaching in MBA schools 10, 20 years from now. Here's how you get away with it. Don't worry about it. You can make bad decisions that kill people. You can put dangerous products on the market. You can be risky. You can be indifferent. At the end of the day, all you got to do is pay a fine. Well, I mean, the, the courses at MBA school now may as well be how to pay off the right politicians, yeah, right. How, how to buy the regulators, how to shred documents. Oh, I'm sure. I, I mean, <laughs> that's where we're probably, at. There probably are some courses we don't know about. <laughs> but, I mean, it's just a, it's a disgusting story. And I love that these plaintiffs' lawyers that the represent these claimants say, hell no, we're going to make a case, we're going to make it public, and we're going to make this judge decide whether this is what the civil justice process should look like in America. And I think it's important things.